Today we're going to take a look at integrating RAD Dataform with RAD GridView. RAD Dataform is part of Telerix RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. So the RAD Dataform may be fully integrated with the RAD GridView control. In this video we will add the RAD Dataform control to the Road Details view of the RAD GridView control. This will allow the end user to edit the details of a row quickly and efficiently. Let's go ahead and jump into Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010, and I'm just going to select File, New Project. We're going to select Silverlight, RAD Control Silverlight Application, and I'm going to give this a name of RAD Data Form Integration TTV for Telerik TV. After that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select OK. We're going to host the Silverlight application in a new website, but we're also going to be using Silverlight 5 for this demo. Next, we press OK, and we are brought up the Project Configuration Wizard. So we're going to be using the RAD Grid View Control, and we're also going to be using the RAD Data Form Control. So I'm first going to scroll down to where I see Grid View, and I'm going to pay, place a check in this. And we see that once we placed a check in Grid View, it automatically added the other components that's necessary for this component to run for us. So next, I'm going to place a check in telerik.windows.controls.data. This will give us access to the RAD data form control. Finally, we're able to hit finish. Once our project finishes spinning up, we can scroll over to our references and we can see the controls that Telerik automatically added for us. So we have telerik.windows.controls, we have the data, we have the grid view, input, and data. So that's all of the references that we're actually going to need in order to integrate these two controls together. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our employee class. So I'm going to click back on my project and I'm going to go add class and I'm just going to name this employee. Now that that's in place, I'm going to add several properties here. But I'm also going to implement the iNotify property changed interface. This will enable us to update the items of the grid which the, once the corresponding fields in the RAD data form has been changed. So I'm simply going to add uh, notify property changed here. And we'll go ahead and we'll resolve that namespace. And then from here, I'm just going to simply paste in the different properties that we're going to use. So we see we have our property changed event handler. And then we have our first name, last name, occupation, our starting date is married, just like we had before. And as we scroll down through these, you can see the own property changed being called. So once we get to the very end here, we're going to simply add in some data to work with. So I'm going to drop in here a observable collection, and we'll resolve that namespace. It's going to be called Get Employees, just like our first two demos, and we're going to add in four different employee types. Now that that's in place, let's go ahead and switch back over to our main page.xaml. Inside of our main page.xaml, underneath or inside of the grid, we're going to simply use our RAD Grid View control. So we're going to give it a name of RAD Grid View 1, we're going to set it to read only, but then we're going to set the item source here to employees. We're going to set can user freeze columns to false, but then we're going to toggle the row indicator visibility set to class because we don't want to actually show the RAD data form unless the user has selected it. And then of course the row details visibility mode is going to be visible when it's actually selected. So our row details template has a data template and then we see our data form with the name of my RAD data form. The current item is going to be binding to the item that they select, and then the header here is going to be Edit Employee. The last thing to do here is to actually go back to our Code Behind page, and we're going to set the item source property of our RAD grid view to our employee.getEmployees. So I'm going to simply go RAD this dot RAD grid view one dot item source, and this is going to be equal to our employee.getEmployees. So now we're ready to actually try the application. So let's just go debug, start without debugging. So now we can see that we have our RAD grid view on the form, 
and if we select an item, so for example we select Sarah Blake, we see the drop down here for our row details and this is actually our RAD data form. It created this of course automatically for us based off of the objects that it found. So we can come here and we can select edit and I'm just going to add Sarah12 and I tab it out and we see that the first name has been updated accordingly. We can toggle is married as you see that property has been updated automatically for us and then we can change her salary here if we wanted to and we could press OK and of course you see that has been updated automatically for us as well. That is just another example of how you can integrate several of our controls together. As always, thank you for watching and please tune in to tv.telleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.telleric.com for the latest news and announcements.